Well, once again, the Republicans are sticking it to the middle class. You can try to justify this bill with all kinds of rhetorical contortions, but this is what's going on in this bill. The Republicans are asking the seniors of Minnesota, people with disability, middle class Minnesotans to line up, take a hundred bucks in their hands, and hand it over to corporations. That's exactly what is going on in this bill. How is raising $200 uh, on middle class Minnesotans good for our economy? That's $200 uh, dollars that Minnesotans would spend in their community to buy groceries for their families, to pay the bills, to pay for medicine, and you're going after the renters. Some of these Minnesotans are probably saving up to buy a house, to move up the economic ladder, but you continue, continue to push them down. You are literally taxing the American dream away from the middle class by the actions you're taking, and it doesn't make Minnesota a better place. Now, your argument is this is somehow going to create jobs, but there is nothing in this bill but a hope and a prayer that one single job is going to be created. It is a lie to cover up the gift that you are giving to your special interest corporate friends. They say there's no jobs in this bill. The truth is that there are a lot of jobs. In fact, I would suggest that some of my good friends on this side of the aisle go to Commissioner Franz. Look, see, see what he said in tax committee about job creation. The research and development credit will produce jobs. Commissioner Franz will produce jobs. Members, there are a lot of jobs in this bill. And the governor said it best in his State of the State. He said, look at my good ideas, we'll look at your good ideas, and we'll put something together that's best for the state of Minnesota, and I believe we can do that. There being six, or 72 ayes, 62 nays, the bill is passed as amendments title is agreed to.